I'm here today at the Sony booth at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona um, to look at some of the new technology that's come out. Um, so with me today I have Oscar, thank you very much for joining no, me. Thank you for, for coming. I believe we're looking at the Xperia Touch today. Yes, that's correct. Do you mind telling me a bit about it? Sure. So basically what we have here, we have a short throw projector, which basically means that you can project on surfaces, you know, like with this distance. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we added Android, uh, the Android platform, which basically means that you can use all the kind of apps that you will have on Google Play, you know, all the kind of apps that you will have for video streaming, content enjoyment, productivity, entertainment, information, everything that is on the, on, on, that you're used to using on Android will be here. Mm -hmm. And the way that we managed to do this is because we have uh, develop a system where we can sense, you know, where your fingers are at all times. You know, we have IR rays coming up to here and a camera here. So basically what we do is that on this normal surface, like a table, a kitchen counter, anything, a mundane, non-smart surface, if you will, we can turn it into a smart surface just like by putting the device there. So basically you create a 23-inch interactive surface pretty much anywhere that is flat. I can show you a couple of uh, apps. So you yeah, can what's your it. favorite one? Well. Uh, I like the fact that, you know, the fact that it's 23 inches, which is bigger than any tablet in the market, yeah. you know, like, it, it means that normal Android apps also kind of like take a new life, you know, when you use them here. For example, let me show you this DJ app, which is pretty popular. Uh, what you get is like a DJ set already It's a mix table, isn't it? Yeah, like a mix table, like a proper mix table, yeah. the same size. And then please do not uh, judge the device on my DJing abilities. <laughs> But basically, you know, when you're DJing, then you need to multi-touch a lot, you know, yeah. multitasking all the time. So basically, in the same way, you know, like you have a lot of space and the, multi and the, and the ability, you know, to do many things at the same time is perfect, you know, for this type of device. So you can sense that the responsiveness of the device is as you would expect, you know, from any kind of touchscreen enabled device. So this, you know, a normal, a normal app, anyway, we can bring it up to a new kind of life. And, you know... We we uh, we we like the fact. Oh, let me let me make this guy a little bit quieter. <laughs> but of course, then you have your normal apps like you will use, like you are used to. Imagine you're planning a vacation and you're on Google Maps, you know, with your family, yeah. and then you're just like saying, "Where should we go?" Basically, the whole family can get around. The, fo the whole family can try to see, you know, this. Is, if you want to go to my home country, for example, <laughs> you want to go to my hometown, which is here. <laughs> Not that you needed to know that. <laughs> And we like the fact that people tend to, it's a more communal, kind of like more uh, shared experience than normal devices that tend to be a little bit more individual. And then with that in mind, actually, we challenge a few app developers in Japan in a hackathon to try to see if they can bring this out a little bit more. So what they did, actually, they have a few apps, a, a few app ideas that we're going to release on the Google Play Store. One of them is very simple, but I like it a lot. It's called Math Ninja. So it's basically for kids to practice their math skills. Uh, mine are not great either, <laughs> but what we did is like you can see here. Imagine this is in the coffee table, so you have one kid here, one kid here, and one kid here. Oh, so it's so like a competition. You can gather around and then play this in a competition. Let's see if you're faster than me. Ah, yes. Ah. 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 <laughs> it's the stress. It is pretty stressful, <laughs> but you get the hang of it. See, like even though it's a very simple app, the fact that we developed it so that you so interface is kind of like distributed around. Makes so you can touch it at multiple points at the same time. Yeah, How many to, can you do? Up to ten point multi touch. So wow. basically, this is Android certified. Uh, so we discuss it with Google and we certify it as an Android device. So basically, all the things that you would expect to do on an Android tablet, pinch it. zooming, multi touch, you know, long press, all those things, the functionality is exactly the same when you have it here. But also, I mean, I cannot show you because we have so many people looking at here. But basically, of course, it's, por it's portable and you can move it. But this is now uh, stuck here. But basically, you can put it against the wall and then do the same thing on the wall. Or you can like pull it back a little bit and then you can get a burger screen oh, wow. up to 80 inches. So you almost use that, like a projector on a yeah, wall. Basically, yes. Yeah. So you can say like you're watching YouTube videos or you're enjoying Netflix or Hulu or whichever service you prefer. Oh, it's like a home we have cinema, no isn't it? Yeah. yeah, pretty much. We have no preference, but then you know you can enjoy that in your in your in, on your wall, you know, up to 80 inches. And then for that, you know, of course, it's a standalone device. You know, it has the processing inside, it has the platform inside, uh, it has internal memory, mm -hmm. Wi-Fi connectivity. So basically, it's all there. So is it available already or is it pre-ordered so now? So today we announced it officially as a, as a product for commercial purposes. So we opened pre-registrations now. Uh, we are uh, launching in the spring, uh, starting in Japan and Europe. 
Uh, in Europe, of course, we also have some retail partners, but we also have it all in oral Sony online retail. So whatever the countries are covered in that, including the UK as well, <laughs> if you need to know. So yeah, it's coming. I mean, this one year ago, exactly here, we showed it for the first time as a concept that we were working on. Mm -hmm. Pretty much like a cookie idea that we were working on. Yeah. And then in this year, we worked hard. You know, the engineers have put a lot of effort, the designers, everything. And now it's ready to hit the market. And how much will it cost? Well, it depends a little bit on the country and the currency and the commercial conditions. But I can tell you in euros, which, we, we, which is fine for me to say, uh, it will retail in euros for 1,499, 1,499 euros. But it's a new category, completely new type of device. So we're expecting, you know, very techy early adopters to jump at it, you know, like with no qualms. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me today. It's really cool. I really like it. Yeah.